thank you guys so much for joining this video. Today's video, I am going to be doing a, a week eating like a Gilmore girl. Gilmore Girls is one of my most favorite shows and it always reminds me of fall. And periodically throughout my life since Gilmore Girls came out, I've been watching it like during fall season. And this time I was inspired to eat like them for a week. So first things first, I needed to get groceries. And as you know, I'm vegan. So we went to Whole Foods. And while we got Whole Foods delivered, to be precise. I can show you guys my grocery list. This is the list of all the items that I got. Um, every Gilmore Girl morning starts off with a nice cup of coffee. Along with that cup of coffee, I had a donut. And then for lunch, I had Indian food. Um, Rory really loved Indian food, but she never ordered it because her mom said it stunk up the house. So I thought I would honor Ori in this way because this is one of her favorite foods. Gilmore Girls are notorious for their movie nights, so I got popcorn, Swedish fish, dark chocolate, buttercups, and gushers. Every day this week, I didn't know when film it because I thought it would be very redundant. But I had a variation of either I had a variation of either an iced coffee or a hot coffee. Gilmore Girls also loved leftovers, so I had some leftover chili that I ate with some chips, a donut, and a coffee this morning. They always ordered like everything pizza, but the closest I can get is this meat lover vegan Trader Joe's pizza and I loved it and I had it with some pink lemonade and some extra marinara sauce because frozen pizza just tastes better with marinara sauce. And as if we didn't have enough junk, we have ice cream. There we go, that was our dinner. Next day. Lorelai absolutely loved the apple tart that her mom used to get her for Christmas and so I made my own version of the apple tart and got a apple turnover instead. For lunch I had another pizza because it seemed like the Gilmore girls had pizza like three times a week so we did it. This is my fake Luke's. I made sure to have the burger with no vegetables because they strategically avoided vegetables. So no lettuce, no tomatoes. It's just meat, vegan cheese, and a bun. And then curly fries on the side. Candy for dinner? I think yes. The Gilmore Girls always had like pop tarts for breakfast, even lunch, and sometimes even dinner. But my version of the pop tart is a cliff bar and one of these bobos. Yeah. And then we visited Luke's again, same thing. Popcorn was becoming my nightly routine. I loved it and I would put nutritional yeast on it. It was great. This day I had another donut and a pumpkin spice beverage from Trader Joe's and we also had our coffee. This is my attempt at an Emily Friday night dinner. I'm not the best. Brussels sprouts, potatoes, chicken strips. I had four cookies and then a dark chocolate cup and gushers. A few times in the show they didn't just have muffins and donuts to go at Luke's so I made myself like a real diner um, experience but it's like country style. And we can't eat like a Gimma girl for a week without Chinese food. Sometimes they order Chinese food for like a whole week and eat it throughout the week so we had to do it. 
love it. And of course some more cookies. They usually had Oreos but I had chocolate chip so that's what I had. So as the finale we had some grits and toast again with sausage as my Luke diner experience. And then for lunch we had another Luke's burger with curly fries because I think they would have ate another burger. And then I had mac and cheese and chicken fingers because they had a few moments where they had like a whole bowl of like mac and cheese. So. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and this give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!